Hey guys, Schweitz here with Schweitz Audio, here with a plug-in demonstration video. Today we're going to look at the Universal Audio LA-2. It is the early version of the LA-2A, not made the same, still sounds amazing like it does. This was kind of like the predecessor to what the LA-2A was going to become. This thing is great. It's one of my favorites, just like the CLA-3A that I demonstrated for you guys before. This is just one of those things that makes everything just sound better, no matter what you're doing. And uh, I'm going to demonstrate it right here. I got a little guitar part. Shout out to Lack of Flaws for letting us use his song here. And uh, I'm just going to get into it. I'm going to play a little demonstration for you, and then I'm going to get into the plug-in. Check this out. I'm going to start with it bypassed, then I'm going to put it in. tell just like our CLA 3A this thing just makes this guitar sound better it stands out it adds a little bit of a sparkle there a little bit of that analog grit onto the attack and you can even hear the verb speaks a little bit better on the guitar because of just the loveliness that this thing does it's a pretty simple plug-in I'm gonna go over it right here we got our meter gain reduction right here we can have output at plus 10 or output at plus 4 um, and then center section is obviously showing us the amount of gain reduction. We have our gain knob here and peak reduction, which is obviously kind of like a threshold. The higher it goes up, the more compression we're going to get. And it's also the harder you hit it, the more the compression is going to be. And like the LA-2A, they have this little emphasis knob that changes the uh, frequency uh, trigger of the plug-in. So you can roll out so the low end doesn't hit it as much and you can compress more of the top end. And we'll demonstrate that here a little bit right now. See, I've rolled it off, but we're not hitting it as much. Now I'm going to add a little reduction. And as you can see, we're catching a little bit more of the attacks there. Um, that's definitely for fine-tuning the sound in. But this box, even though it's an older piece of gear, this emulation is great. Um, I've only seen these a few times at the studio, and uh, I highly recommend you check out this plugin because like the CLA-3A, it just makes things sound good. Uh, I'll do a little more demonstration here and uh, kind of compress it more and let you just kind of hear what it does. It's a very useful tool, and... You can hit it light or you can hit it hard. As you can see here, uh, my other compression was hitting it maybe a half a dB of compression here. I threw it over, getting up there minus 9, minus 10 dB. Had to push up some of the gain there to make up for the compression, but you can hear it still just has a really nice round tone, warm tone, and I'm telling you, this thing would work on vocals, guitars, bass, drums, snares. I mean, it's just anything you need to add that little bit of excitement to, it just sounds great. So if you haven't checked it out, please check it out. Uh, make sure to hit subscribe up on my YouTube channel, and uh, as always, thanks for checking in, and happy recording.